Hey YouTube, Sweet Knives here. Thanks for checking out our awesome video. We are sharpening an awesome old knife that is um, called the 12550 High Country NRA Outdoors Benchmade Knife. So this is one of those ones that I just reviewed recently and um, it's actually a awesome knife but it wasn't really that sharp so want to get it really sharp the first section here so i actually put a marker across the edge i'm, I'm using the wicked edge doesn't matter what system you use but what we're going to demonstrate today as we get into it is uh, these things these are the the special plastic pieces that bradley's made and then i put on these uh, lapping films and these are the most awesome things ever because it gets a mere finish on your edge. So I start with the diamonds, I progress all the way through, and then I finish with these lapping films. And so in the description of this video, you can find the links to these plastic pieces for the Wicked Edge. If you're using the WorkSharp or other ones, we got those too. In fact, I know a lot of you guys already got those. So today we're just going to go through how these work, and we're going to go through the progression. So... I've already got this lined up. I've actually, I'm not zoomed in on the edge because I want to show you um, kind of just how this kind of works a little bit. But on some of my other videos, I do have highly zoomed in to the actual edge. So in this video, I'm not doing that. But um, if you want to see, just click the <laughs> click right up here. I'll, I'll put a few other links to somewhere. It's a an ultra close up. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to just start going. What I wanted to tell you was I've already started this process. I've matched the angle already. I just wanted to show you that it's it's matched. But if you're doing this, this part's going to take a lot longer. Um, and the way that you want to do it is you want to take like a higher grit. Since I've already done this, um, I can use this. This is 200 grit. But as you see, watch how this this black line is on there. Watch when I when I do this. See, it's already. It's already perfectly matched. You can see that coming off of there. I don't know how well that's showing up in the camera, but um, it's already matched. But this is the process that you got to go through if you are just starting on a new edge. And like these ones, the reason that we have to reprofile or take off steel, even though it's a brand new knife, is because they weren't sharpened on a on a rod type system. They were sharpened on a belt grinder, so much more material. Um, sometimes has to be taken off with with these um, you know these type of sharpeners versus a belt system so that's the reason why so I've already kind of went through this but I'm just showing you this is 200 grit we're gonna just we're gonna kind of quickly progress through and I'll just do a little bit of I don't know how this is gonna show up but we'll see this is the part that takes the longest um, with 200 and even 100 sometimes you got to use 100 grit or your lowest one on whatever sharpener you're using. But this is the part that takes the longest. Getting to this point here where you use these, these lapping films, if you don't spend the right amount of time on these lower grits, you're never ever gonna see a mere edge. So I've already spent time lining this up just to speed up the video, but this process takes a long time. But this is still 200 grit, so we're gonna have to go through the entire sequence. And you want to do this, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 times once you get the burr identified. And what I like to do is I like to take like a rag like this and I, I will uh, wipe it. Another cool thing, I haven't showed this a lot, but um, they make these angle cubes like this. And if you put this on a flat surface um, and you turn it on, it, it, it'll get the right angle and then tear it out. And I don't know how well this will show up, but I've already done this. But if you lay the edge, usually I start with like 800 because it's a little smoother. It's teared out. And I, like I said, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but it should say 23 point, this one's 23 point, 23 point 4 or 5. That's perfect. 
that's the degrees on that side and you can do the same thing on this side again i don't know how i don't know how well that'll i don't know how well that'll show up on the actual camera but this one's 23.89 23.6 so that's really close. If you're within 0.5, these are very helpful um, tools. Um, turn it off. They make a lot of different ones like this. But if you are getting into this, highly recommend you get these. And so that's one of the things that you want to do as you move to the different grits is you got to make sure that these, um, see right here, a lot of times I'm saying I'm tightening these things. These are the things I'm talking about that I'm tightening. Make sure they stay tight. And same with right here and hard to see, but right here. All these pieces have to remain tight because if they get off any little bit, it's going to be off. So this angle cube is really valuable tool. I highly recommend um, using those. So I'm just going to keep going a little bit more. And then the other thing too, I got lighting here, but if you don't have good lighting, you really need to be able to see how that's how that's looking on the other side, on each side. So I just shine that just to make sure it's um, really sharp. I think that's really close on this one. I think we'll call it a day on that. Uh, make sure these are tight. Wipe it off. Now we can move on to 400 and 600 right here. We'll start with 400 grit. And everybody kind of does this a little bit different, so you kind of have to find out what works for you. But I always start by going really kind of easy like this on one side. I think that helps a little bit. But again, you have to find what works for you. At this point, since I already discovered the burr on the previous ones, I've done this so long that I don't have to keep feeling for a burr. Like I, I can just literally just tell after a little while. So from there, now we're really close to doing the back and forth. There's a different part of the rag. I wanna decontaminate it here. Wipe those ones. Now we're good to go. Double check, make sure all that stuff's tight.
You really gotta be focused when you do that. Switching to the next one. So now we are on 600. One of the good habits, again, is to just um, test this, see if we are at the same angle. So tear it out, hold it up, should say the same thing here. Or be within, be within about 0.5. So yeah, we're right on the money, right on the money. If you get off more than 0.5, then you may need to adjust these, these pins down here. back and forth. wipe it again it's very sharp at this point it'll it will cut you you can tell just by doing that be careful if you do that <laughs> you can do it with anything like you know even even that if it catches you can feel it All right, now we're going to move on to 800 and 1,000. Here we go, 800. Make sure these are tight. Angles should be right.
good there. We'll wipe it again. Now we'll move on to a thousand. Even just here, it's a lot smoother. And it's starting at a thousand. You start to see a little bit more of a shine. I don't know how well. Probably doesn't show up well on here, but. looking really good. We're going to move on to 1500. Here we go, 1500. gonna look for something. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. We're on to 1500. Just gonna wipe it real quick. This time I got a uh, this is chamois piece of chamois cloth cut up. Watch how much this gets off just in that little bit. I don't know if that's just in that little bit. That chamois really works good. You could of course put this in uh, dishwash stuff. You know, clean it. But just for a quick deal, that gets it almost brand new. Those work really good. Okay, here we go. Now, this is where it gets kind of fun. We can now do the lapping films. And I'm starting, so I got, what really should happen is I only got two of these plastic pieces, and then I got two of the other ones, because I got 12, and I got nine, and then I got, or excuse me, 30, 30, 12, nine, and then, um, three, one, and point three. So there we go. In a perfect world, I'd have another another set of four, but this is what we're gonna just do. So we're gonna just go with 30 for now. So here we go. This is 30 
micron. This starts getting the mirror. And you only go away. So as I do this, you can see I'm only going away now. Okay, now we're gonna go to 12. I'm gonna just wipe it with a fresh um, one of these chamois. Okay, now we'll move on to 12. Sounds kind of funny. Sorry. stuff. These are these special plastic things that we're going to start with nine micron. So this is where it's going to get fun. So here we go. Nine. Gotta be careful when you're doing this with your fingers because you don't wanna you don't wanna cut your fingers off. Perfect. Now we're gonna move to three, which is the next one over. I'm gonna wipe it again. Just to make sure, now we're on three. Should be. Yeah, it's looking really nice. Now we're gonna move to one. That's the green side. Now that's it, we're gonna move to point three. Zero point three, this is the last one. That's it guys, that's it. Let's take a look at this. Boy, it was in there tight. Hang on. 
on one second. I gotta take a little bit of the marker off, but look at how nicely that polished that up. I know that's kind of hard to see. Kind of did a quick job on it, but I mean, it's a lot, lot, lot sharper. Let's see if it cuts hair here. <laughs> oh yeah, very sharp. That's a look at it, guys. I'm going to clean it up, get it put back. But that's a look at how you can get things perfectly mirrored with these new four deals. And now you can clean these with alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And they'll last quite a long time, but you get four on, on one of those. So that's the, that's the really neat thing that Bradley um, and I designed. His shop is general3d.com, but I'll put an eBay listing that he has. And you'll be able to buy these. Uh, but that's the kind of stuff you can do. You can get your knife extremely sharp. So thanks a lot, guys, for checking out. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.